Clinton State Athletics is dealing with yet another issue tonight. This is over allegations three members of its football team raped a student in January. Our Mara McDonald is in the newsroom with some brand new information in that case. Mara. Kimberly Devon, we knew that MSU police had already asked for three warrants, but knew this evening. They have now asked for a fourth warrant for a staff member. We aren't naming the three players who are under the microscope because they have not been charged at this point, but we can tell you that two of them are from Detroit and one is from out of state. Now, MSU police are asking for a warrant for a staff member, but it's not for a sex crime. It's for obstructing an investigation. Already, the university has placed football staffer Curtis Blackwell on paid leave in connection with the investigation. Sources confirm the alleged gang rape happened on campus in January and the student reported it. Right now, the university has two concurrent investigations going on, one into the sex assault claim and one into whether the school's response followed the law. I understand that many in our community may be feeling anxious and frustrated by these recent developments. People might conclude these developments indicate a culture problem here at Michigan State. Let me be clear. We are committed to creating a culture of both accountability and safety and responsiveness regarding sexual assault. The Ingham County prosecutor, Carol Seaman, says she's got the case files. She's looking at them. She has also asked MSU police for some additional information. You can expect a charging decision soon. We're in the newsroom. Mara McDonald, Local 4.